I guess I taped over your Halloween sound effects. We need atmosphere to cast the cootie spell on George Jamal. <coughs> Are you sure this is working? It's gotta work. If George punches my arm again, I'll end up in a cast. It's gonna work. Just need a drop of toad sli- <laughs> Noticed this crypt before. <laughs> Olden. Hey, look! There's a picture of some old ladies. Prissa and Chrissa Olden. <laughs> Yikes! What was that? Hello? Anybody there? Oh, listen, Chrissa, we have visitors. Great Gorgon, Prissa, will you help me out? Oh, my achy back. I still don't understand what happened last night. It was just a little cootie spell. It couldn't actually wake up the dead. Tell that to the Olden sisters. Who are the Oldens anyway? The first time I heard about them was during Halloween many years ago. I know you wanted the ballerina costume, Mona, but the store was sold out. Besides, a vampire is more appropriate for Halloween. But do they always wear drapes as a cape? Uh, sometimes. It seems to work. Look at all the candy you got. Oh, right. A vampire is kind of fun. Let's go do some more houses, Daddy. How about that one, up there? Oh, no, sweetie. That house has been empty a long time. That's the Olden Mansion. The... Uh, Olden Mansion? Legend has it that the Olden sisters, Chrissa and Prissa, were the last surviving family members who lived there. Until they went crazy. Some say Chrissa and Prissa were really witches. I just thought of something. If it weren't for that one Halloween night, you might have gone on to become Mona the Ballerina. <laughs> <laughs> now that's scary. I I'm not afraid of some old witches. I can take care of myself. Take that! And that! No one messes with Hey, wise guy! It's time for my Kung Fu workout. <laughs> <laughs> Leave him alone, you big bully! You can come out now, Charlie! He's gone! So my plan worked. Which plan? The one where you threw your lunch money at him to slow him down? I don't have to listen to this. Hey, where's Mona? Over here! <gasps> I found the vial that I dropped last night. Aren't these flowers pretty? Hey, Lily! I'm an olden witch! I'm coming out of my crib to eat your brain! Charlie! Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, spooky lady. I thought the old mansion was abandoned. It was. Until now. Now that they're gone, we can check out the house. Do you see anything? It's hard to tell. There's... Wait a minute. I can see something brewing, and... Ah! Oh! I've seen enough to convince me that these aren't any ordinary ladies. Mom, Dad, guess what I saw at the... Oh. Mona, this is Jane and Joan. How do you do? I'm Joan. And I'm Jane. Pleased to meet you both. 
Jane and Joan are distant relatives of the Olden family. They've come to fix up their family mansion. You're not afraid of upsetting witches? Oh, Mona, that's just a silly legend. Oh, a lover <laughs> of superstitions. Isn't that cute? Oops. Joan, you are so awkward. May we use your washroom? Certainly. It's down the hallway. Jane and Joan have invited your mother and me to visit the Olden Mansion. You're going to the mansion? Now? We won't be gone long. Excuse me. I just remembered I have to check on some... Uh... Mm, uh... Uh... Homework! Quit fidgeting. <laughs> Bring Gorgon, Prissa. I can't take you anywhere. It's back where we came from if you mess this up. Chris and Prissa Olden! It's not polite to snoop, young lady. We'll be sure to deal with you later. <laughs> so I looked it up and found out that the incantations for cooties and raising the dead are almost identical, except for Belladonna. Belladonna is made from the nightshade plant. That stuff was growing all around the crypt. That's what supercharged the spell and summoned up Pris and Prissa Olden instead. Why was that lady picking deadly nightshade yesterday? Because Joan is Prissa and Jane is Chrissa. They're using nightshade to cast a spell. My parents are in danger. Come on! I can't see my mom and dad. I just see Prissa and Chrissa preparing something in their pot. <laughs> I have Newt, Spider's Web, and several pinches of Belladonna. <laughs> They're preparing a spell, all right. We have to get in there and stop them before they give some to my parents. We can sneak in here. Shh. Ah! Quick, let's hide in here. Visitors. We'll just keep our nosy little friends locked in here until after our seance tonight. I may have summoned you out of the crypt, but I can still send you back. That may indeed happen. At exactly nine o'clock, the crypt will call back its dwellers. Yeah! Nice knowing you, prune face! Oh, but there's no rule that says that we have to be the ones to go back. Did you really think we invited your parents over to visit our house? Leave them out of this, you dusty old witch! Oh, how lovely! We have company joining us for tea time. Sugar, anyone? Great Gorgon, Prissa. You're always ruining the dramatic effect. You know how hard it is to be taken seriously in this witching business. Well, I, I just don't think it's any reason to be rude to our guests. It's time to cast the spell. Since your parents are late, we'll have to send you two back to the crypt. No! And how about we turn you into a toad? The classics never fail. <laughs> Prissa, read the incantation. Dragon's breath of fire, your home of funeral pyre. The crypt will be your new abode, while Mona be a slimy toad. I don't understand. Why are they still here? What have you done? Krissa, what's happening to you? Ah. It's past your bedtime, you cronies. Ah. Time to go back where you came from. I'm glad the Historical Society decided to restore the crypt. I prefer Chris and Princess sealed inside for another hundred years. I'm just glad my parents had car trouble, so they were late getting to the mansion. Anyway, the Olden sisters are gone for good. And my parents think it was the renovation cost that scared them off. Hey, I have good news! 
Rose! George Smell won't come anywhere near me anymore. Rumor has it, he's got cooties. Well done, Mona the crony. <laughs> <laughs> Pod people, nothing beats this ultra limited Japanese VIP collector's platinum edition. This does the latest spine tingling mystery from Agatha Misty. I've got you both beat. Want some? Guess what I heard? Agatha Misty just moved into the old Potter Mansion on the hill. The one they say is haunted? Yes, I bet she chose it for that very reason. The creepy inspires mystery writers. <laughs> it's Agatha Misty. Oh! Eagle! What on earth are you doing? Unruly fans, Miss Misty. What? Yours truly tans? Miss Misty! Hi! I'm one of the vampires. And these are my... Must stay away from Agatha oh, Misty. Yeah. Breath. <laughs> no! That's three weeks' worth of allowance down the drain. Very mysterious behavior. There's no mystery. They're just snobs. And they're gonna pay for ruining my comic book. I bet Miss Misty gets a lot of creepy inspiration from this place. Yeah, well, I'm here looking for creepy compensation. My vampire senses tell me this novel holds some clues. The Hexed Mansion welcomed its new occupants, a famous writer and her faithful butler to its eerie abode. Both were unaware that the mansion's hex had made them its slaves. Too. We better read more about this hex before battling the mansion. <coughs> the hexed mansion shook with delight. Famous writer and her humble servant were making fine slaves. Soon their souls would belong to the hexed mansion forever. Hey! Wait a minute! Eager spoke to us at the car, so he can't be hexed. Of course he's hexed. He's like the mansion's spokesperson. Remember how weird he acted and his bad breath? Oh, don't remind me. That proves it. Agatha wasn't snubbing us. She's hexed. This book is her cry for help. And listen to this. Once the hexed mansion has exhausted its enslaved inhabitants, it transforms them into dust. Wow, that explains what happened to the mansion's former owners, the Potters. And Miss Misty and Igor are headed for the dustpan next. Well, I guess we should save them, as long as they pay for my comic book and my bike bell. The gate's open this time. Of course. A worthy opponent always knows when you're coming. Try. Ow. Watch out! Ah! My dad's flashlight. Now they're really gonna pay. I was expecting this. The heroes. That's us. Twist the deceptive door knocker to gain access to the mansion. It worked! Yeah. Miss Misty! Miss Misty! We've come 
to save you! Is this an earthquake? heroes had escaped danger for now. Next, they would discover the famous writer was held prisoner near a circular room of doors. This must be the place. next novel to lure more innocent people into its lair. It could take him decades. This really is serious. It's you, little no good nicks again. Uh, that man, I think now's a good time to settle up. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Um, you, I mean, Miss Misty owes me for my comic book and my bike bell that you ruined. There's also the question of my dad's broken flashlight. Igor, snap out of it! The mansion has placed a hex on you! No hex! You disturb how me write! <laughs> then maybe you could write a check for my friend here. Oh. <laughs> We're in the belly of the beast. The walls are closing on us! What does the book say? Certain doom awaited our heroes. That's it? It was time for the mansion to really clean house. Use that broomstick to block the walls. Take that, you creepy casa! <sighs> that was too close. <gasps> we need a way out! Closing walls, closing walls. I got it! Where are the trapdoors? The closing walls. There's a trap. That's it. There's a trap door underneath that rug. to turn her to dust like the others before her. But first it would deal with our heroes. <laughs> the book said that they were the crawling guardians of the mansion. Read, Mona, read! Ow! Oh, goddess! In haste, the heroes neutralized the chains with acetic acid to free themselves. Acetic acid? Like vinegar? Yeah, but where are we gonna find that? There's vinegar in these. Misty alone. Now you know good Nicks are in really big trouble. I don't think so. The Hex Mansion controlling you is no match for Zatman, Princess Giant, and Mona the Vampire. <laughs> it's not nice to laugh at others. Let's see how you like this. No! No! Great job! Did it say in the book to do that? No, I just got mad. <gasps> Go ahead, I'm right behind you! <laughs> Mona? <gasps> Mona? A faulty furnace and a cracked foundation is a real recipe for disaster. Thank goodness you kids were here to help her out. What? 
This girl didn't clean my trout. She saved my life. I know. I just said that. Turn up your hearing aid, Ms. Misty. What? Turn up your hearing aid, Ms. Misty. Uh, that's much better. What happened to Igor? He got out okay. He asked me to deliver this letter to you. Oh, my. It's Igor's resignation letter. <laughs> oh, just as well. His breath was driving me mad. I'm so glad. I really couldn't wait a couple of decades for him to write your next book. My, my. You are an exceptionally mysterious little girl. Thank you. I try my best.